Did you provide sexual favors in exchange for gifts? No, absolutely not. A Range Rover, a Ferrari, two Bentleys, a home V. Do you understand how people perceive that? Do you understand that it's middle America? It's the mass who doesn't live in Los Angeles? Do you understand that most people don't get the opportunity to meet with a billionaire? Most people don't get that chance to work for a billionaire. They're alone. Be around him on a daily basis. But even billionaires don't gift to their personal assistants How do you know? like this. It's, That's it not true. It seems excessive. To you it does. To middle America it does. To the nation it seems like it. But you don't know that. And there's no to, facts that say that. It seems excessive to everyone but you. Because I am the proof, I am living a proof that obviously it can happen and it's happening to me. You did nothing sexual to receive these things. No, Brooke, what I don't understand is that if I said no once, I'll say no twice and I say no again. Did no. you, you never even kissed him? No, why do you, you continue never? to ask me this when I just said no to you? How many times are you gonna ask me this stupid question? Now, do you understand my frustration? Well, no, because I'm no, asking you no, because that no, is what everybody no, wants no, to know. No, no, V, you don't have to get combative. You don't have to get defensive. No, ask me one more time just so we're clear. You never kissed him. You never ask touched me one more him time. inappropriately. You seem not to get it. You seem not to understand. I get it, V. I'm just asking Does you the world not this get is it? what everyone wants to know. Everyone wants to know. The world definitely wanted to know, and now it gets to watch. I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm. As FX brings V. Stiviano's drama with Donald Sterling to the small screen with Clipped. I need to show them that I have the power. Are you stupid or something? E.T. with the headline-making personality just after she sparked an NBA scandal. Tell me, who did you send the tape to and how did you send it? I sent it via text. It's a text. I have memos on my cell phone. And it's funny that you even asked, but how it became an idea to record was because every so often Mr. Sterling will ask me to do certain things and I started becoming forgetful myself, so mm -hmm. I needed to make sure I took notes. And based on that, certain conversations would unfold and take place and it would just happen naturally. So when I decided to send this voice audio memo to a friend of mine, just previously that week, I had mentioned to them that I'm going to quit, that I don't think I'm going to work with them, with the Clippers or Mr. Sterling anymore. So don't call me and ask me, can we go to another game? And one evening I was sitting at home and I was just checking details on my voice memos and then I came across this voice memo and this voice memo was recorded last year and then it hit me and I listened to it. And as I'm listening to this, I'm like, whoa, I remember this. And then I started listening to a number of other memos. I started looking at my videos. I started looking at my pictures and I started thinking to myself, why have I not said something? Why have I not felt the hurt or the pain that I should feel or that I should go through? Any normal person would feel offended or feel hurt by it. Mm -hmm. And I made that decision right there and then. And I sent that voice memo to my closest friends. And I said, this is why I'm going to quit. This is why I quit every week to be exact. And I sent it. I didn't even think to question it. V. You didn't think sending that voice memo would would create what has happened now? No, I did not. Why? Because friends don't do that. And if Did they respond or did they just quietly? Oh, they did. No, they responded like, I'm so sorry, honey, keep your head up. I'm so sorry that you're going through this. If you need me to be there, I'll come over to your house right now. I understand. They, of course they responded. It was normal. It was, that's what friends do. If I had the opportunity to address this woman, and I'm sure that I do, I want to know why she honestly did it. What would you say? Why would I say she did it? What would you say to her? I want to know why she did it. Why? Okay, so what was your specific position with Donald? I didn't have a specific position. Okay. I was his personal assistant, which entailed for me to do 
a number of things, a number of acts. What? Some days I would jump the fence so we can open the front door of a gate so we can look at some real estate property. Other days I was at board meetings. Other days I was at the game making sure he was looking fly and cool on the floor. Other days I was driving him around looking at properties all day. Other days I was fighting women off him, as he likes to call it. Just friends calling him wanting to chit chat and hang out with him for no reason. Every day was different. It was a learning experience for him and I both. V, everybody is no. incredulous about the relationship. You told Barbara Walters you were his right hand man, you were his silly rabbit. What does that mean? I'm goofy, I'm silly, have you not seen my Instagram? You go from one to the other, you I, certainly do. I do, I can be, I'm fun, I'm cool, I'm hip. I was born and raised in LA, this is what we do. People from around the world come to be here, to live here, to be like me, to be what it is that I represent. This is who I am, and by me saying this, it's easy to be grounded, it's easy to be silly, it's easy to joke around. Most people around Mr. Sterling are very formal, very professional. No one tells him no. Did you and Donald talk about his marriage? We did from the very beginning of his marriage when he first courted Mrs. Sterling till today. We've always been open in regards to Mrs. Sterling and Mr. Sterling said he will address the issues and handle the matters himself and it was something between them two, and it had nothing to do with me. Donald's wife said in court docs that you befriend, seduce, and target older men like Sterling. Is this a long con? Brooke, I wanna do this interview with you to the best of my ability, but you need to work with me. A lot of times I gotta tell you, I may not believe you. I don't believe everything you're saying, V, so that's why I'm repeating myself. I'm trying to get to the heart of who you are. That's why you're sitting here. That's why you- You're interviewing me in 20 minutes. You're not going to believe what I say. I can convince you in 20 minutes. Yes, you can. No, I'm not going to convince you in 20 minutes. Yes, you can. When I give you a response, you take it for what it is. When you continue to ask me the same question 15 times, you're gonna evoke a reaction out of me that's gonna be like, enough, it's enough, Brooke. It's enough from the paparazzi, it's enough from the people, it's enough from people like you. You wanna get to know me on the personal level? Get to know me. You have a record. Yes. Previous arrests. Yes. Um, you use different names. Mm -hmm. Are you a con artist? Are you a con artist? I'm asking you, V. Do I look like a con artist? I don't have the record here. Well, I've never, I've never known to con anyone. What? I've never tricked anyone to anything. I've never did anything that shows that I'm a con artist. Why did Brooke? you use the, the different name? What and do you your mean? your height, your height would change. You would tell I different like, physical. I did not change my height or my race. So I didn't tell them I'm 5'8", five, 5'6", five, 5'6". Five, I've been consistent with my height since I was 12 years old. Inconsistent shows, with your name. No, I changed my name once legally. I used an AKA when I was young. AKA. That's it. You're obviously very passionate. I've struck a nerve. How Several. hard is it for you to be in this position? Because I'm sure that there is a lot of pressure on you, day in, day out, hour after hour after hour. Brooke, I'm crying right now. I'm crying right now. If I'm holding my tears back, it's so I can look strong. Yeah. This is me crying. Okay. How much does a person have to take? The people doesn't get it. How would you like to be the person sitting in this chair trying to state your case and defend yourself and you continue to ask me the yeah. same question? How would you like to be innocent and did nothing but love someone and accept someone fully for who they are and help them. Okay. No one knows what I'm going through. So if I'm not crying right now, it's because I have to be strong. Yeah. Okay. I have to. Okay. If this I cry, hard. this is hard. If for I you. cry, people will see the weak side of me and they will tear me apart with their comments, with their statements. 
And you know what, at this point, I'm getting used to this. I'm getting used to it. 